Arizona, welcome to the first week of the 56th legislature. On Monday, the Senate and House Democratic Caucuses released our blueprint for a better Arizona. Our priorities are grounded in reality and real people's experience. Our focus is on strengthening our economy, education, environment, and equal opportunity for everybody. Despite our commitments to move Arizona forward and willingness to meet at the table with our Republican counterparts, we are already seeing a dangerous bill, more than one dangerous bill, get top priority from the Republicans. Today, Wednesday, in the House Ways and Means Committee at 9 a.m., House Bill 2003 will be heard. This bill is an attempt to further gut the corporate tax rate. As of 2022, 71% of Arizona corporations already pay only, are you ready, $50 or less in state income tax. The economic strategy of enabling welfare for the wealthy is a failing policy. Our working families must pick up the slack because for so long Republicans have allowed big corporations and billionaires to avoid paying their fair share. Our state continues to feel the long-term negative impacts of Republican handouts. Our needs do not simply disappear when Republicans cut, cut, cut revenue. Rather than deal with the real issues facing Arizona, like our housing crisis, our desperate need for school funding, or our crumbling infrastructure, Republicans in the legislature are prioritizing a $668 million corporate tax giveaway. That's what this is. Our tax code has been so generous to the corporate interests that we have almost $2 billion in corporate income tax carry forwards. Year after year, because corporations don't owe enough taxes, in a given year, they can carry forward tax credits for future years, in some cases up to 15 years. Given that all businesses currently pay only about $850 million annually in corporate income taxes and have accumulated so much in carry forwards, they clearly do not need another tax giveaway. Listen to that again. Corporations are currently only paying $850 million out of about a $16 billion total budget. House Bill 2003 will drastically cut Arizona's corporate income tax rate. It's a bad, bad idea. Here's a good idea. Providing core public services like education and infrastructure with the highest level of fiscal responsibility. These services play a critical role in laying, role in laying the groundwork for our private sector growth. And the quality of these investments is a key determinant of our state's attractiveness for private investment. Supporting the market with appropriate public investments will be more likely to lead to long-term prosperity than enacting a huge and risky corporate tax cut again. Arizona deserves an economic strategy that invests in our resources in job training, universities, community college, and of course, K-12 public education. Education is the cornerstone of a strong economy. The business community must now invest in the workforce that will take them into the future. Corporate tax cuts are substantially self-defeating when it comes to stimulating long-run state economic growth. Democrats are committed to economic policies that ensure access to good jobs and fair wages. House Bill 2003 will not. Corporations get ritzy-fitzy treatment here in Arizona. It's time hard-working Arizonans get the ritzy-fitzy treatment, get a fair share, get that same treatment here in Arizona.